Hello everyone. Welcome back to this online class. Today we are going to look at Gauss Legendre integration methods. And in particular, we are going to look at the two point formula and the three point formula. Now we have this question. We are asked to estimate the integral from zero to one of one over one plus x dx correct to six decimal places using part A, Gauss Legendre two point formula and part B, Gauss Legendre three point formula. So what is important in Gauss Legendre integration is that you first must, you must ensure that the domain is from negative one to one. So you must ensure that our domain is from negative one to one, that you integrate from negative one to one. If that is not the case, then you will have to transform the given domain into the new domain, which is negative one up to one. So the first step is domain transformation. So right here, step one, is to transform the domain the given domain into the new domain which is negative one one when i talk of the domain is the limits of integration you see we are given from zero to one i want to transform it to negative one one because I can insert here the given domain which is zero one transform it into negative one one and how do you transform it you use a linear transformation using a linear transformation So you see the original domain, these are the x limits. x is equals to zero to one. So we are transforming it from x, the domain in x, to the new domain in t. And our linear transformation is x is equals to a constant, call it, uh, you could call it m, call it mx plus another constant c. That's the transformation not mx, but it should not be mt. So I change this, mt plus c. So this is our transformation. Let's, let's see how to transform it. So you realize that when x is one, our t will be negative one. Zero will be mapped onto negative one and one will be mapped onto one. So you can write here that uh, when x is one, when x is zero, I mean, t will be negative one. So what will that equation look like? We now have zero is equals to, oh, remember t is negative one, so this is m times negative one, plus c, which you can write as uh, negative m plus c is equals to zero. So this is the first equation. Also, the one here will be mapped onto this other one, the, the upper limit, I mean. So when, when x is one, comma, t will also be one. So what will the equation look like? We now have one is equals to m times t, which is one plus c, which you can write as m plus c is equals to one. So this is equation two. So what you do, you solve these two equations simultaneously to get the values of m and c. Of course, you know how to solve them. 
when you work it out, you need to get, uh, of course, when I add, I'll get, I'll get 2C is equals to 1. So in that case, C will be equal to 1 over 2. And our M will be equal to, again, 1 over 2. We solve the two equations simultaneously. So we have found the values of M and C. So therefore, our linear transformation is now this one. You can just say that therefore, where there is X, we should write 1 over 2 T plus 1 over 2. What about dx? So this implies that dx is equals to 1 over 2 dt. dx dt is 1 over 2. Then you make dx the subject. So it's like we're using a change of variable. Change of variable. Because we now want to change from x to, to t. So we must also know how the differential dx will change in terms of dt. So now come back to your integral. It is the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 plus 1, 1 over 1 plus x dx. So how will it look like? So you can say here, hence, the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over 1 plus x dx will now be equal to the new integral is now from negative 1 to 1 of 1 over 1 plus x. Our x is 1 over 2t plus 1 over 2. We are replacing x. Our dx will be 1 over 2 dt. So now simplify this one. This will give you the integral from negative 1 to 1 of 1 over 3 plus t dt. So that's what we have as our new integral. Remember, why are we changing the domain from the given limit, which is 0, 1, to negative 1, 1, is because the gauss legendre integration methods require that the limits of integration must be from negative 1 to positive 1. So having found, or simply having transformed our integral, now let's see how to work it out using uh, gauss legendre two-point formula. So you can write here part A using Gauss Legendre two-point formula. So this is the formula that uh, to evaluate that integral, to evaluate the integral from negative 1 to 1 of f of t dt is approximately equal to f of negative 1 over root 3 plus f of 1 over root 3. That's the formula. Now, what is our f of t? In this integral, when you do the comparison, you realize that our f of t is 1 over 3 plus t. So you write here f of t is 1 over 3 plus t. So let, let me get f of, uh, f of negative 1 over root 3. That is equals to 1 over 3 
plus our t is negative one over root three. Press this in your calculator. You need to get uh, 0 0.4127711. Correct to six decimal places. We also need f of one over root three. That is equals to one over three plus our t is one over root three. Again, when you press this in your calculator, you need to get 0 0.279537. Again, that is correct to six decimal places. So let's substitute it back to this formula. So the answer will now be uh, 0 0.41. Two seven seven one plus zero point two seven nine five three seven. And so when you add those ones, you need to get zero point six nine. Two three zero eight. So that's our approximate solution when we use Gauss Legendre two point formula. Let's see the value of the same integral when you use Gauss Legendre three point formula. So part B, you write using. Gauss Legendre three point formula. Again, the formula is this one that when you want to integrate from negative one to one of f of t dt is approximately equal to. 5 over 9 times f of negative root 3 over 5 root 3 over 5 plus 8 over 9 f of 0 plus 5 over 9 f of positive root 3 over 5. That's the formula. The derivation of this uh, gauss legendre integration methods can be found in my PDF notes. So you can spend some time to check on how to uh, derive these formulas. Here I'm just telling you how to apply the formulas. Now our f of t is a uh, 1 over 3 plus t. So you can write here f of t for that integral is equals to 1 over 3 plus t. So what do I need? I need f of negative uh, root 3 over 5, f of 0, and also f of positive root 3 over 5. So let's start with f of negative of the square root of 3 over 5. That's the same as 1 over 3 minus root 3 over 5. And when you press this in your calculator, you need to get 0 0.449357. 449357. Also, we need f of 0, that is 1 over 3 plus 0, which is 1 over 3, and 1 over 3 is the same as, we'll correct 6dp, 3, 3, 3, 
three, three, and another three, three. Finally, f of positive, the square root of three over five, is the same as one over three plus root three over five. When you press in your calculator, you need to get zero point two six four nine two nine. Two six four nine two nine. So let's replace them here. We'll have zero point four four nine three five seven plus zero point uh, uh, three 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 and another three three plus the other one is zero point two six four. Nine two nine. When you press this in your calculator, uh, of course I've left the constant. So let, let me just add them. I've left some things. Let me rub what I've written. I left out those coefficients. So you must write everything. Here it was five over nine times 0 0.44 uh, 9.357 plus 8 over 9 times 0 0.33 33 and another 33 plus 5 over 9 here we have 0. Two six four nine two nine. So when you press this in your calculator, you need to get zero point six nine three one two two. Zero point six nine three one two two. So this is the value you get when you use Gauss Legendre three point formula. Let us compare those two approximate uh, values with the exact value of the given integral. So let me write here the exact value. So write exact value. That is when you integrate, remember we are integrating from zero to one of one over one plus x dx. That is equals to the natural log of 1 plus x. The limits are from 0 to 1. And so this will give you lin 2 minus lin 1. But remember lin 1 is 0, so the answer is lin 2. And what is lin 2? Let's press in our calculator. In my calculator, I'm getting lin 2 to be equal to 0 0.69314718. So this is the exact solution or the exact value of this definite integral. Now, between the Gauss Legendre three point formula and two point formula, which one do you think is very close to the exact solution? It is clear that uh, when you use a three point formula, you get very close to the exact solution. And so it means Gauss Legendre three point formula is more accurate than the Gauss Legendre two point formula. So, thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is Professor Francis Okech. When you go to the YouTube search, type Francis Okech or Prof Francis Okech, and you will find me right there. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and share this video. When you meet next time, we look at more problems involving Gauss Legendre integration 
method. Bye-bye.